So majority are saying F. What kind of a force is that, by the way? The upward force exerted by the floor's surface on the box. Contact force or long range force? Contact force. The floor is actually touching the box. So there's a contact force. I'm just going to name it just to make it clear. By floor on box. And this statement says that that's the, uh, a Newton's third law pair with the force exerted downward on the box by the Earth's gravity. So force, what kind of force is that, by the way? Downward on the box by the Earth? Is it gravity force, a long range force? By Earth on box pulling down. So is that what Newton's third law tells you? That force, this says forces by one object, on, when two objects interact, the forces that each of them feel are equal and opposite. So what are the two objects interacting with the first, this force right here? The floor and the box. Does Newton's third law tell you that that equals uh, Earth interacting with the box? No, it doesn't. Even though the vast majority of you pick true, this is not what Newton's third law tells you. It may be true that the force upward is equal to the force downward. Uh, do we have a law for that? If the force upward was equal, if the force downward by the earth was equal to the force upward by the floor, those two forces would cancel. Those are both forces on the box. They both belong on the force diagram for the box. So that's a, uh, the first clue is that it's not Newton's third law, is that you put them both on the same force diagram. Newton's third law refers to different objects. And it refers to an interaction between two objects and and these, there's three objects named here. So the reason those two are equal and opposite is because of Newton's first law, actually. It's because the forces have to add to zero if the box is not moving. If the box is just sitting there and it isn't moving and it's not changing its motion. That box is not changing its motion sitting on the ground. So sure, those two are equal and opposite. But that's because of Newton's first law, not because of the third. The third tells us something about interactions that we have to think about and be careful about, and that is uh, each object, each of the two objects interacting, feels that interaction equally and oppositely. This, is, this statement is false because it's not Newton's third law that tells us that. These are not a Newton's third law pair. Any questions about that one? Let's try it again. Child sits on a stationary swing. So, so there's a, a, a platform, a wooden platform held up by, by chains. Child is sitting on this platform that's held up by chains. The child feels the force upward by the seat. The, the wooden platform is pushing upward on the child. Which force is the equal and opposite pair to this one according to Newton's third law? The equal and opposite pair to the force that the child feels upward by the seat. <coughs> 